Hey everyone, welcome to The Legend of Ted. Today I just wanted to have a little discussion and talk about something that has been exciting me for so long, but now that we've been getting screenshots a lot from Nintendo lately of Breath of the Wild, I just wanted to address this directly. Um, so the last screenshot that we got of in-game was um, of this little hidden village, I'm assuming, based on kind of its location um, in the background. And we get to see a little closer look of what I'm assuming is like the chief or kind of the leader of that little village's house um, because it's of its position and, and kind of where it is and its grandeur um, compared to the rest of the homes. But uh, behind it, we see kind of this cool little backdrop where we see two little waterfalls on either side of it. And up over the top of the cliff, you see just sky, basically. So... One thing that I'm kind of coming to grips with of how excited I am with this game at this point is that you can literally interact with everything. Um, nothing in the game, not even weather, is for pure aesthetic purposes. Um, of course, that is something that goes into it, and I'm glad that it looks great. I love the art style. Um, but in, in many open world games, from Skyrim to The Witcher... Um, to, to Grand Theft Auto, things like that. Like you, you can go anywhere. It is open world. You can li you can walk for miles and miles and hours if you want from one end of the app to, uh, map to the other, um, which is awesome and I love it. But one thing when the game is specifically open world that I miss every time, um, I don't know about miss because I've never had it before, but I wish it was there, was the ability to interact with everything to go up everything i remember spending a lot of time playing skyrim trying to get to specific points that i wasn't meant to go because there were cliffs in the way and there were slopes that weren't meant to be walked on and i was just trying to like glitch my way up sometimes i did sometimes i didn't um but with breath of the wild you're going to be able to climb up anything um, you can interact with everything. You can climb up trees. You can eat the food that you see. It's not aesthetic. You eat the food. Um, if you kill an animal, you can eat it. Um, like it's it's just you can eat it raw if you want. Like it's just nuts. And I can't wait to be able to get that game and to have that same sense of exploration that I felt when I was a kid going to Southern Utah, um, Goblin Valley. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but. Uh, it, it's it's so fun because it has rocks you can climb. It has, like, as a kid, that was the dream, um, to climb up anything I could see, to go anywhere. And that's what I'm so excited about with Breath of the Wild, and it's really going to set it apart from all the other games. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.